share the kettle pin chat afterwards. Good morning and welcome to our final round of the nine pin tournament here from Maine. Paul Grant with Russ Neely Jr. Russ, nice to see you here. Hey, thanks. Parsonsfield, Maine. Keys of Falls section. Beautiful facility. Yeah. Archie Strike and Spare. JP's doing a great job. Yeah. Tell us about your bowling center at Stars and Strikes, Russ. So we've got 14 lanes. We've got a big tournament coming up on July 29th. That's an all-nighter. Uh, Three-person teams. Um, we have great staff. Starts at 8 o'clock at night. And what's that all about? A, it's a marathon. It's a Russ Neely Invitational. It's in honor of my dad. They started uh, about 33 years ago. So we're trying to continue the tradition. Uh, for him and Sharon actually started it way back in the early 90s. So it's good. How's your bowling alley doing? We're doing fantastic. How many, we're lanes, we're lucky. How many lanes do you have? We've got 14 lanes. Yep. What do you we offer for amenities there? we got arcade. We've got a full bar, food, appetizer bar food, and a good staff. You got a good team here today, right? We got good three three good teams here from uh, Stars and Stripes. Awesome. Good luck today. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Wes. Pleasure. Let's bring in JP over here. JP Espinosa, the owner here of Archie Strike and Spare, in beautiful Keys of Falls, Maine, section of Parsonsfield. JP, Hi, nice to see you again. You as well, Paul. I appreciate it. You're doing a great job here. Uh, this play. Tell us the situation, what you've inherited here, and what your sure. vision is for the alleys. So uh, our, uh, the Strike and Spare has been here since uh, 1963. Uh, it's been a staple of our community for uh, as long as most people can remember. And uh, it was shut down about three to four years ago. Um, and I, when I inherited it, uh, there's about one out of ten machines working. And the seating area, that's pretty much all, all we had. So we took about three to four months. Uh, getting it all cleaned out, fresh paint, fresh lights, uh, making sure the machinery's uh, working, and then really putting any historical uh, pieces that, that we could find in here on display. We've got all the old plaques of house house records. We, we took some of the um, parts of the machine and actually turned them into decor uh, here as well, uh, with with the intention and goal of making sure that this place is a family friendly and accessible uh, for the entire community. So. And tell us what you offer here for amenities here. For yeah, viewers. sure. Uh, aside from uh, aside from bowling, we've got uh, pool tables. We've got a pool league going on. We got a, a wall full of board games, uh, and then we've got a full kitchen menu. Uh, and then we do soft drinks, beer, wine, and uh, cocktails as well. And how can uh, they they can order online too? Absolutely. If, if you go into our Facebook page, our menus on there. Or if you want to pop in uh, to Archie's, you can get a paper menu. Uh, we do takeout, and you can call 207-625-9508. Again, that's 207-625-9508. You can also reach us on uh, Facebook Messenger with any questions uh, you have. And we do uh, we do do single game rental, lane rentals, and full facility rentals as well. So uh, tell the viewers about the rules here, nine pin. So uh, yeah, nine pin's pretty simple. It's it's really you take a pin out of the equation. So if you hit nine pins on your first uh, ball, then it counts as a strike. If you do it within uh, two two rolls. Then that counts as a spare, and if you hit nine pins within three balls, that counts as a ten. So nine, no, no nine boxes. So no nine boxes. So at you all. get a gutter ball minus one, you still get a ten. Exactly. Yeah, it makes for a fun time and yeah. a quick game and a high score too. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Thank you, JP Espinosa. Thank you. All right, we're right. gonna get rolling. So we're gonna get started now. First of five strings underway here now. Each ball of all five boxes at a time. We'll put the scores in the screen. Every five boxes. Good crowd on hand here today at Archie Strike and Spare. Let's do it. No, I didn't know how. I didn't know how to stand. And we're underway here now. This is Jody Neely on the right. On to Tom Gilberti. Jody might get these two here for a spare. Won't go. Tom, he's up to one to ten. So she's two here to get a ten box. And she does. That'll be a 10 and 9 pin for Jody Neely. Stars and strikes a field goal for an 8 for Tom Gilberti. Jody's the South Paris main. High single of 124 out of Stars and Strikes, South Paris main. They call her Coach Jody. She's Cobra 2.6 pound bowling ball. Off to the right, she gets 2. Second ball, she leads up four. Pack of five on the left, Tom Gilberti. Missed the opportunity. Jody Neely with seven, 17. Through two in the first of five. 
and a five for Tom Gilberti, 13 from two. Tom, 91 average right now from Auburn, Maine, high symbol of 160. Turns 68, April 26th. Jody gets five as a parallel pins plus the nine pin. Gilberti off to the right gets three. So again, nine pins on your first ball is a strike. Nine your first two combined is a stare. And nine on three balls combined is nine blocks. Or ten blocks, rather. No nine boxes allowed. If you give out of the gutter and subtract one, you still get credit for a ten. Jody Neely an eight, 25 from three. And Tom Gilberti is six, which is 19 from three. Tom bowls at just in time. Bowling some lanes in Lewiston, Maine. Bowling for 50 years. 47 years of 10 pin bowling, just three years now. Calvin. Jody gets five as the one, two, eight, six, ten of the right two pieces of wood. Gilberti off the wall has a triangle. Jody, that ball looks good, and she got it for a clean spare. She just need to get nine, but ten counts also, so a spare. 35 and a ball through four for the first. Tom need to get two for a spare, only got one. Okay. And that's a clean ten for Tom. 29 through four. Looking for his first mark. This is round three of three of the nine pin tournament here in Maine. Marks is still in Maine. He's a fall section. Beautiful area. Just under 2,000 people live here. And Parsons Field, Maine, at Archie Strike and Spare. Jody gets seven on the spare, 42 and four. Gilberti, nice head been hit, but a tough split. She's two for a spare, she got it. That counts as a spare, a nine pin. 52 half plus one. Time for a spare, looks good. Got it, that's a spare, a nine pin. 39 half plus one. And Russ Neely Jr., the owner of Stars and Strikes, also on lane two. We're covering lanes one and two today. Thank you for watching this great game of Candlepin Bowling. Russ Neely Jr., son of Paul F. Russ Neely Sr., has the force been right to one, three, six, and ten. On left in lane one is Rich Puthalet. It's a 2 2 split. Neely is open. Trying to kick it over, Mr. Wide Right. Neely with a clean 10 to start. Rich nudged the wood, but won't go for six. Russ Neely, 53 years old, average of 113, career high of 115, has a high single of 184. Nice ball, eight. We got one more that would have been a strike in nine pin. Has a high triple of 398, high five of 618, and a high ten of 1184. Richard Puthalek gets a break as the one, three, and six. Neely with a spare, a clean spare, 20 of all through two. And now account for a spare and nine pin for Rich Puthalet, 16 of the ball through two. You just see nine pins total in first, second, or third ball. Mostly all the other uh, rules apply. First high ten of 11.84. The co-owner of Starts and Strikes with his wife, Katie. Rough six in the spare, 26 and two. Rich half with the left, punch up the two and eight. Spare two, 18 through two. Nice try. That's the, all this Matt Susie special, the 5 7 10 lead. Matt made that shot in the Sunday extra Bowl League, extra New Hampshire, a few months ago for a spare without wood. But about the Susie special. Russ in eight, 34 through three. Rich Duplet goes wide right for a six. Tough break. 
two sixes and sandwich spare two in between, 24 through three in the first of five. From Parsons, Field, Maine, a lovely section of Keyser Falls. Archie Strike and Spare. 10 lane facility. Russ Neely, Jr., 2 1 split. That's the 2 and 4 on the left, the 10 on the right. Boothlet has the 1, 3, 7, and 10. Russ needs to grab 2 for a spare. And he does. Whether that 10 pin falls or not, you still get credit for a spare. His second spare of the string, 40 point of all before. Oh, nice try. Richard wouldn't go. Come back to the 7, but couldn't find an electric charging station. Ran out of gas. And that's a 10 box and 9 pin. So 34 through 4. So again, 9 in your first ball is a strike, 9 for the first. Two balls of spare, nine and three balls is a ten. Russ Neely Jr. working his spare in lane two. He got three, 47 through four in the first of five. Final round of the nine-pin tournament here for Maine. Mitch only gets three there. Nice shot, strike. Crutch and spare. Spare three and a spare, 57 out plus one. What a fast pace here. And that's a that spare, spare, 10. 10 for Rich, 44 half. You look down, write the score down, you miss something sometimes. So Russ Neely Jr. 57 out plus one in this nine pin tournament. And Rich Wooblet, 44 half. Here's Cliff Walker. He starts and strikes me, South Paris, Maine. Drop down four, half west to right. Mike Leland. Cliff, try to get nine for a spare, won't go. Got your head pin. He's up four. Cliff Walker, that'll be a 10 box in 9 10. 10 after one. Mike, that'll be a 10 and 9 10, also after one. Cliff Walker averaged 113 from Bridgeton, Maine. Has a high single of 163, high triple of 395, high five of 617. Get our first $1 lemon drop today. Nice plus a strike, 9 pin. 20 plus 2, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's a strike also, a 9-pin. And that is going to be not a clean strike, but in 9-pin, that is a strike. Not in your first ball. Full play match game, 10 and a strike to start. Cliff's high single, 163, high triple, 395. High 5, 617, high 10 of 1233. This is 2.6 pound bowling balls. Off to the right. Steal seven, got a break, it's a triangle, the four, seven, and eight. Nice ball for Mike Leland, he gets seven, he's got wood to help. Just need two for a spare on strike. That looks good. Oh, he missed his the right. Ball sailed away, last moment, 28 through two, and that is a clean spare on strike for Mike Leland. 30 through two, 40 the ball through three. And Cliff with a 10, 38 through three. Mike from Harrison, Maine. Just turned 71 on July 7th. High single, 207. High triple, 499. High five, 709. High 10, 30, 30. Cliff gets the pack of five, and we have a check mark on the spare bill. Mike Leland, 46 to 3 in the first of five. Flip is open and wide right. Mike Leland, no spares here. One for a ten box. That's all he needs. Flip gets Nate, forty-six to four, and a nine drop. So that should be a ten and ten pin. So fifty-six to four. Mike Leland. Cliff's father got him involved in bowling. Cliff Walker won a state doubles title with Chris Merrill, one of the best bowlers in the game today. 
He's won the 2022 Once a Month League also title. His favorite bowling one was bowling the 516 tournament in Canada. Four in that first ball. Leela, nice ball. That's a strike and nine pin. Second strike. He's got three marks. 66 half plus two. For the anchor man. Cliff is open. That'll be a 10 box and 9 pin for Cliff Walker, a 56 half. Confirming the scores here. Yep. That's six, there. Six. There. 44. 44. 39, yep. 52. 48 you have. Okay, I'm off by one pin there. There's nine. I have 30. Okay, that was nine. You can't have a nine box. That, that was an eight, yeah. Okay. That was an eight. Yeah. All right, so scores confirmed? Scores confirmed. Yep, thank you. I'll we'll show the scores just a moment. Jody Neely. Going to spare. It's seven. 59 half. Tom Gilberti on a spare gets three. 42 half. Jody leaves up the goal post to 7 and 10. Gilberti is open. And that's a 10 box, a 9 pin for Jody Neely, 69 through 6. And that's a 10 also, in ten, a 9 pin. Tom Gilberti, 52 through 6. Let's put some of these scores on the screen while we get a chance. Jody off to the left, it's a break, kills eight, one more for strike, we'll go, almost, he's up to one of the seven. Check bar plus the seven pin, Tom. Jody's one for a spare, and she's got it, it's a spare, nine pin. Gilberti, sails in the middle. Except short of score again. Team from Scarlet Strikes. Gilberti with a seven. Fifty-nine through seven. <laughs> Jody got a ball on that spare. Big tough break. Seventy-nine now. Through seven. And she gets a seven box there, 86 through eight. And Gilberti gets an eight, 67 through eight in the first of five. Half west of eight. That's the stars and spikes score. I get the wrong sheet a moment ago. My bad. Lemon drop, one dollar for Al Johnson's candle fits for cancer. Yep. Reaching for, he's, reaching for, he's reaching for his wallet. <laughs> a fun way to help a great cause. Now Josh is counting for cancer. Raised sixteen dollars yesterday alone. Russ, that's fair at ten. That's a ten for Jody. Healy, ninety-six. The bird is open. For an eight, seventy-five, nine. Nice ball, we'll go. That's a strike, a clean strike in the ten. What a shot for Jody Neely. One hundred six plus two. Three spares and one strike. Gilberti, six in that first ball. Maybe seven. Maybe eight. 7-10 goal post because he's one for a spare. Trying to finish up strong here. Come on. 
on a strike with a double. Mixing and matching, gets five in the first ball. Oh, missed the chance for a spare. Brody gets seven on the strike, ends up with a 113. First nine pin string. Hey, but Tom Gilberti ends up with the 83 first string. First of five strings here underway from Parsons Field, Maine. Archie Strange and Spare, our third and final round. Two yesterday, one today. Rush nearly two. Now. Lemon drop, one dollar for Al Johnson's killing pitcher cancel pin. <laughs> two dollars, that's three dollars so far already. Just needs two innings. Oh, two. oh, nice comeback for Spare. Some people want to reprieve an 11 drop and they get a spare, but no no, no mercy. <laughs> that was a one fill for us. 58 half, now 16, the ball through six. Wow shirts available if you'd like. Message myself or Frank Deluca on Facebook. Messenger. Wow shirts, $25, high quality shirts. Free shrunk. Proceeds go to Channel Fits for Cancer. Nice ball. Shot. Oh, it holds up. Rich Boothlet, that's an 8. 52 to 6. That's going to be working a spear. The junior, nice ball. Seven is triangle, right side. The six, nine, and ten. 75 through six in the first of five. Nine pin tournament for the game. Who has been left at one, two, four, and seven? Rich Boothlet. Out of one, seven, ten, Augusta, Maine. He lives in Garden, Maine, originally from Westport, Maine. Average 89. He leads two. He's got all three. For a clean spare, he's got four in a row. Five marks in a string. 85 in a ball through seven. He's three for a spare and nine, he's got it. His first, the second mark, has spare two in the second. 62 in the ball through seven. First with the wet. High single of 130, high triple of 310. Both working in spares. Rush goes right. It's the pack of five. 90 to seven. Move the leg. Six. The one, two, four, and the nine. One piece of wood. Six on the spare. Sixty-eight and seven. Nearly drew another one. Oh, just missed the other pin. Let's go. Yes. That's a spare. Nine pin. How about five marks in a row? I'm going to ball through eight. Move the leg open. Play. Clean 10, 78 through 8. Russ Ball is a kid, 5 to 6 years before graduating high school in 87 and started balling again back in 2016. Was in the military for 5 years as a Navy Fire Control Chief. Nice ball on the spare, another triangle. 6, 9, and 10, 107 through 8. Looking for 6 o'clock in a row. Nice spare spare right now. Who play gets 3. His brother Nate, he, Nate Neely, he looks up to his father, Russ Neely Sr., who's the Canton Hall of Fame. Spare streak is over. Oh, nice ball, almost. That would have been a spare. We got one more. And that's a 10 for Russ Neely Jr., 9 pin, 117 through 9. And Booth led an 8, 86 through 9. Russ is part of a main state three person tournament. One of his wife, Katie, and Mark Hollywood Smith. So next time you see Mark Smith, tell him, uh, call him Hollywood Smith. He'll get a kick out of it. Yeah. Rest the triangle, plus the 10 pin. Yeah. Only one to the left. Who's the left? Russ's uh, father, Russ Daly Sr., had a main state record of 10 string title of 1485. 
Main state record, 14 8, 5 at 10 strings. Wrestling is here. And we came up in Hall of Fame. We play good ball, but won't go. And Russell get a 10 and 9 pin for that. A 127 unofficial string for Russ Neely Jr. Six bears. And one of the three fill lowered his score. And that's a 10 and 9 pin for Rich Futhalet. Ends up with a 96 string. Russ Neely with a smile with that $1 loving drop pool. Cliff Walker, that's a strike, a nine pin. That's a 66 plus two. Mike Leland, on a strike, it's a spare on strike, a nine pin. 76 half, 86 in the ball through six. Four marks and five boxes. Walker on a strike, seven. Wood to help. Six ten to the right, seven to the left. Leland, triangle right corner, six nine and ten. Seven pin left side. Looks like three pieces of wood. Ninety three through six in the first of five from Parsonsville, Maine. In a beautiful section of Keys of Falls, Maine. Walker missed it. Seven in the strike. 73 through 6. Most Erky was a bowler. And that'll count as a spare. Mike Leland, he's got three in a row. Five marks in the string. 103 in a ball through seven. Mike going for 54 years. His hobby is bowling. Walker, nice ball there. That would be a good fill. That would be a strike, a nine pin. And that's a strike on spare for Mike Leland. 113 through seven, 123 plus two through eight. Russ, Russ. Would a clip get, would a clip get, clip get in the eighth block, seven blocks? Yeah, 10, that's seven blocks after that strike, seven, 83 through seven. We're going to spare now, right? We get five in that one, and we get four. Strike on that. Strike, rather, strike. He's working to strike at four in the first ball. Both working on strikes. And chop out two. He's up a check mark. Six in the strike, 99 through eight. Mike Leland has been two in the nine. He's one for a spare and strike, and he got it. 133 to eight, 143 in a ball in the nine. He's got five in a row, seven in the string. Obviously, scores are higher in nine pin. Nine in your first ball is a strike. Two combining your first two is a spare. Nine and three is a ten box. He's got the one and five. Mike on the spare, the two special, the five seven ten. One fifty nine. That'll be a spare for Cliff Walker in the 10th. Oh, that's a spare also. That's six in a row for Mike Leland. 116 of all, unofficially. Before that spare, Cliff Walker got a seven box. He had 106. Nine. Now a spare seven ended for 123 first string. Mike Leland, seven. Unofficial, 167 string. We'll get the official scores. Cross score sheets. Regular, regular score sheets, please. Uh, Russ, I'm just going to confirm the scores before the permanent screen. 123, 127. I'm not writing down nine, nine boxes today. <laughs> this is the difference. <laughs> oh, he had, one, he had 167. All right, so we're up by a pin. So he had 166 officially. Let us call it a spare six. So 166 officially. Thank you. 166 officially with Mike Lee and what a string. The high yesterday was 174 by Stephen Ashey of Allplay.
in Belfast, Maine. My award winning chicken scratch, one pin correction at 166. Jody Neely, Russ Neely, and Cliff Walker. A lot of marks here. Highest score is a nine pin. Freddie Stone says Russ Neely was the most accurate bowler he's ever, ever seen. Russ Neely Senior, he's talking about. We're going to cover lanes one and two today. And again, wait for this to start the next match with the bowlers to finish up. No. And while we're waiting, we're going to talk to uh, one of the bowlers here while waiting. Excuse me. Snake track. There's only one way for you guys to go, and that's up. <laughs> Mike. No, Mike. Talk to you a second. No. All right. Yeah. One. Hey, you got Mike Leland. 166. Not bad. Not bad. I had you up 167. So. <laughs> 166. Now it's obviously easier than nine pin. Tell the viewers that don't know you about your bowling career. Uh, I can't. I can't think of it right now. <laughs> Oh, been doing it for many years. Yeah. We throw a great ball. Congratulations. That's the second high single, I think, right now. 174 is the high yesterday. So you still have four more strings to catch it. The 16 year old kid beat you, Stephen Ashy. Okay. Well, see. No, fret, no pressure. 16, no, 71. You're doing well. You're doing really well. Aging gracefully. Good luck the rest of the way. Okay, thank you. Cliff Walker. Yeah. Talk to Cliff while we wait for the teams to change here. Cliff Walker, come on to the side, buddy. Cliff, you're fairly new to camp and bowling. Tell the viewers about you and what you've done in your career so far. Um, I've been bowling about five years now. Um, first and I won the doubles, men's doubles this year. Uh, competed in the Invitationals, Mixed Worlds. Lost in the semifinals of the Scratch, main championship. Bowled uh, my first 600. 658 down the Scalpel. So, yeah. Bowling a lot, trying to get better. Okay, you, did, you had your high single this year, right? High had a high single, 163. Had a high triple of, I forget what it was, 402. So, yeah. that was. All right, good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, appreciate Cliff Walker from Stars and Strikes. We get ready to start our second, ma uh, second string of five. As teams change lanes here. And we're going to continue with Mike Leland here in the next string. Three dollars so far for the lemon drop pool. The candle fence the cancer. It's nineteen dollars so far. I'm going to have Mike Leland here, the Ganker Bowler again. Same lineup: Tom Gilberti, Rich Boothlet, and Mike Leland. A second string. As the teams will move over. Thank you. In the last string, the team are going to cover on lane one. Look at these scores. They go down the other end of the lane. They're going to be on lane one now. Welcome to the next two strings. Matt, Sean, and Jerry. 126, 134, 151. Okay, we're going to start here our string in just a moment. Thanks for hanging out. Paul Grinthy live from Parsons Field, Maine, the Maine nine pin tournament. So, Matt Roberts will be first. Sean Doran is second, and Jeff Lapierre, Jerry Lapierre rather, Jeff is his son, the bull third. All right, ready to start string number two. Thank you. After five blocks, oh. Made that check that table over there. That'll be a strike to start for Tom Gilberti. And 
left side to Nat Roberts. He's got a spare to start. So we have a strike and a spare on the board already. Again, the rule is 9 pin. First ball drop of 9 is a strike or 10. You get 9, it's a strike. Two ball total of 9 is a spare. Three ball total of 10. Of 9, of nine is a 10. No 9 boxes. 8 in that first ball for Tom, for Berti. 6 for Nat Roberts. 16 through 1. Tom missed a second shot, 18 through 1 in the second of 5. From Parsons Field, Maine. He, he's a false. And it's a spare for Matt Roberts. 26 in the ball through 2. 8 for Tom Gilberti, 26 through 2. Tom from Auburn, Maine. High single of 160. Choice golfing and fishing. We won a state tournament in the past. 2022 this year's senior state championship. Did five. And a half was left in the field for Matt Roberts, 28 and 2. We'll talk about Matt's in just a moment. Turn energy 91 these days has the parallel pins. The 1 5, the right is the 3 and the 9. He's second ball, and he's 9 for a spare. Holds up, won't go. That's his 10, clean 10 for Tom Zaberti, 36 for 3. And we had 9 and 3 boxes, 3 balls, that's a 10 in the time pin. Matt Roberts, 38 through 3. And that will turn 36 on September 30th. He's in Saco, Maine, 110 league bowler. He's in best 115. Has a high single of 186, high triple of 409, high five of 648. Gilberti, 3 2 split. 3 6 10 on the right, 4 7 on the left. Roberts has the Caleri. You got the Bob Caleri. Gets 2 on the left. Nice ball. That'll be a spare in ninth pin. 40 in the ball through 4. He's got 3 marks. Ten. Tom Gilberti, forty-six through four. Tom, sixty-eight-year-old, is still blowing well. On the spare, Matt Roberts hit seven. It's the four-seven to ten to the right. A sea of wood to help. Fifty-five through four in the second of five. An Archie strike and spare. Parsons Field, Maine. Try to get at least two. I missed it. Missed opportunity. Tom looks good. That's his clean spare. 56 half plus one. His second mark. And a strike eight in the first. And Matt Roberts, that counts to 10 and 9 pin. 65 half. In an effort to help support Kennel Fitch for Cancer, we're asking all polls to volunteer donation of one dollar to Kennel Fitch for Cancer for any lemon drop. That's the four pin or the six pin in the first shot. Help support a great cause. Al Joyce's Kennel Fitch for Cancer. Here you are. Oh, that's a clean shot for a strike. A couple of scores on the screen. Sorry, we missed that one. Oh, Sean Doran starts out with a strike. Rich Boothlet on lane two. Is that a ten? Did he get a ten? Did he get a ten? No, that was his first ball. Spare. Try. No, first box. Check the score, man. Right. Spare. So, Rich, we let it go spare. Are we looking away? Ten the ball to start the second string. That looks good. But two full. Two two split. Sixteen after one. Sean Doran, we're going to strike. It's the fourth and right, the 1, 3, 6, and 10. For Pro Bowls, I would. 
he's converted 36 percent of the time for the spreading production stacks. He's get three for a spare, gets two. Doran gets eight in the strike, 18 after one. Clean 10, Rich Boothlet, 26 for two. And that'll be a 10 box and nine pin, Sean Doran, 28 for two. Sean, 28 years old, February 18th, 1994, Stockholm, Maine. Average of 109, has a high single of 171, high triple of 402, high 5, 608, and a high 10 of 1177 out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Rich gets three in that first ball. Gordon, half west to right, the three and the nine. Preston A. Jr. just picked up a nice 2 2 split on lane three to our right. Bouvelet leaves up the one, two, and the nine. Boy, that's a fall grand shot right in the hole. Been many times in my career. Sean uses 2.7 pound Cobra bowling balls. And eight for Rich Bouvelet, 34 to three. Gordon, six box, 34 to three in the second five. From Parsons Field, Maine. And Archie strike and spare. First tournament here. Sean Ball for 24 years, coming to involved. He's a junior state championship winner in 2010-2011 season. A lemon drop. One dollar for Al Johnson's killing pitch of cancer. That's four dollars today. Just these two lanes. Three on these two lanes. Sean gets three. Who put half Wister? Ouch. That insult to injury. Tough break. Sean Jordan trying to bounce back. Wide right. Yikes. Sean won the men's 560 teams open division championship. That's a nice out for that mess. Only six, but could have been a lot worse. 40 through four. Jordan, a tough six. He's up the diamond. 40 through four also. He had a strike eight to start. Richard has a spare six to start, but only 40 through four. Fifth block, second string. Off to the right, has the parallel pins, plus the nine pins right. Sean, one, two, nine, and ten. Two pieces of wood. You see three more for a spare. Who's that wide left? You need nine for a spare, only got two. On the object pin, wouldn't carry. Good try. Who put a six? Back to back six is 46 half. And that's a clean 10. Sean Doran, 50 half. Anchor ball is coming up now. Mike Cleveland, the right at a 166 last spring. Starts off on the head pin again. There's the half was to right, the 3 9 and the 10. Two and a half ball. The Jerry Lapierre on the left. Leland is open. He's one for a 10 box and threw it away for an 8. And nice out there. It's 7. It started his second string. Mike Leland from Harris in Maine. Going very well for a 71 year older. Brilliant, that first string, 166. It is higher score than 9 pin. There's a nice strike there, a clean strike. 28, uh, 18 rather, through two, plus two. Jerry Lapp up to left, gets a break, has the one, three, six, and the nine pin behind the three pin, one piece of wood. This is the 
opportunity for a pair. It's from Biddeford, Maine. Average a 104 career high during the glory days, 125. All right, head tip with a 3-1 split. Mike Leland working the strike. And Jerry, that would be a 10, 10 box and 9 pin, 17 through 2. Leland, that's a spare and strike. 28 through 2, 38 of all through 3. Again, 9 on your first ball is a strike and 9 pin. 2 balls, total of 9 is a spare. 3 balls, total of 9 is a 10. Nice ball there. Breaks up the split as the 2, 4, 7 left. Leland working his spare. About the head pin to go as the 2, 4, 7 would to help. 7. Jerry had a 7 in the last box, 24 through 3. Mike, spare 7 and a 10, so 55 through 4. And a 10 for Jerry. Clap here, 34 through 4. We'll check the official scores after they're done. Head pin for last year has the check mark plus the 10 pin, one piece of wood. Pack of five for Mike Leland plus the seven pin, right in between. Lap year is open. Open half. And that will be a 10 box. Mike Leland unofficially a 65 half. We'll check the official scores. And up in eight for Jerry Lapier, 42 half. Well, he's actually a 69. That was a spare four in the fourth box he missed. So give him 69 officially. Can you score sheet, please? Back to the top of the order. Gilberti on a spare gets four, 60 half. It's one of these here for a spare, nine pin. And he got it. 75 in the ball for six, in the second of five. And I bought my box. You guys, can you have your score sheet, please? We're off by a box here. So. This was correct here. Thanks for your patience. Just fixing up the scoring errors here. So 10 tens, right each. Okay. All right, got the scores correctly. So Tom is 70 through six. Matt's working a spare. 75 in the ball, lane one through six. Off to the left, just four in that fill. 79 through six. Phil Berkey only gets three. Just see nine and two balls get a spare. Nine pin. Oh, nice shot. Clean spare. Two in a row. 89 the ball through seven. Five marks in the string. Matt Roberts. Right out of here. Never Tom Gilbert. 80 through seven. Is that a spare for Tom? Huh? That was a spare? Okay, that was a spare. Yep. The box behind, so Tom got a spare, not a 10. Usually the ball on the right goes first. Six in the fill from Matt Roberts, the left. 
95 to 7. Tom Spiffer on lane 8 to 7. It gets him 87 to 7. Another spare, a clean spare from Matt Robbie. He's got three in a row. Six marks in the string. 105 in the ball through eight. And another spare for Tom. Good lady. 97 in the ball through eight. He's got four marks. Scores are higher in nine pin. Again, first ball drop of nine is a strike. Two ball total of nine is a spare. Three ball total of nine is a ten. Robert, the spare gets three. 108 to eight. No nine box allowed. Off to the right, four in a spare. Gilberti is at 101 to eight. And Robert denied the spare. Robert's on the big 20, Scarborough, Maine. Oh, it's a beautiful ball, a clean spare. Three rocks in a row, 111 the ball through nine. For Tom Gilberti, eight for Matt Roberts, 116 through nine. Tom enjoys golfing and fishing this time off. Huh? He had a 2022 Senior State Championship winner in Maine. Seven in the spare, Philip. 118 to 9. Roberts, we're coming out of play with, with Larry. He's going to fix Tom's score, 126 officially. Wait for lane two to get fixed. So officially at 126, we just changed the score to make it right. The score is like you're unofficial. The official score is 126. You know it's fair in the last box. And Matt Roberts finishing up his second string here. As we have so far in their first two strings. 126 in the first. And he's four for a spare. Won't go. Rich Boothlick gets two. We had 46 half. We start up with spare six on lane two. Eight for Matt Roberts for 124 unofficial. Second string. Mike leaves the five to the right, the eight to the left. Rich Kuklet, rather. It's one for a ten box, a nine pin, he gets an eight. Fifteen four through six. Sean Doran up next from lane one. At a 50 half. Proof left, half west to left. Doran, parallel pins, 1 5 to the right, 2 8 to the left. Sean at a 134 in his first string. Rich could try, almost got the spare, just need 9. He's at the 1 and 7. Nice shot. Doran gets a spare. 16 of balls. Second mark. Had a strike eight to start. 16 of balls for six. And that's a clean 10. Bridge Booth will 64 through seven. The main men's money match two. Two weeks from today, July 31st, 12 noon on Bowling Nerd Network, Candleton Chat. Defending champ Paul Dyer and Mark Carrier take on Don Drake and Lewis Dyer at all play. Belfast, Maine. That's the main men's money match two, July 31st, all in. Bowling Nerd Network. And there's the Sushi Special in lane one, the Matt Sushi Special. Matt Sushi made that shot in the Sunny Pro League in Exeter this year without Wood for a spare. It's a tough seven, Phil. 67 through six. 
Missed it. Another chance at it. That'll be a 10 box, a 9 pin, the booth leg, 74 through 8. Tough 7 for Sean, for 74 through 7. Head pin can be cruel to you sometimes. And the second string of five from Archie Strike and Spare. In Parsonsfield, Maine, the section of Keys of Falls. All right, Grimms, you live on Bowling Green Network. Four three flip. Four, nice ball. That's a strike. A nine pin. 84 plus two through eight. Hey, where was that? That right, bounced back. Looks good. He's got it. That's a spare. A nine pin. 84 and a ball for nine. And a spare six for first. Sean Dorn, his third mark. Two strikes now in the spring. Booth let. Box to the left gets four. 88 to nine. Dorn, half with the right. Yikes. Working a strike, though. That's why you get two. Rich Booth let. Might get nine for a spare. He's up to one and nine. He's up to one five in the middle, eight to the left, ten to the right, one piece of wood. Six in the stripe, 90 through eight. And Rich Booth led eight for 96, second string. And a 96 in first. Doran, that'll be a 10 and nine pin, 100 through nine. So Mike Leland up next to Timo Shift over to lane three next. We'll cover the team on lane one, string also. Neelan off to the right. It's a break at the one, two, six, and ten to the right. And a six and nine half. Doran, head pin accuracy again, but a three one split. Six pin on the right, two, four, seven on the left. Neelan, the five, ten, forward discount. At 10, that last box, Sean Doran, 100 through 9. And lead them with a 10. Making it 79 through 7. Correction, 79 through 6. Sean, what'd you get the last box? Last box. Huh? So Sean Dorn is seven in the last box, 107, second string. Jerry Lafayette trying to get two for a spare. Looking at the edge, he got it, a clean spare. First mark of the string, 55 plus one for six in the second of five. Mike Leland, eight, 87 to seven. Jerry Lepper in the bonus ball. Looks good. That is a clean strike on spare. 65 through 6, 75 plus 2 through 7. Beautiful shot. And on lane 2, a strike. Mike Leland. 97 plus 2 through 8. Both on strikes. Lapierre. It's six as the four has been left for one, two, four, seven. He wanted it all. He got a strike right down the middle. Three, one, split. Three pin to the right, two, four, seven to the left. Lapierre, that's good. It's one more. Oh, missed it. Eight and a strike, 83 through seven. And that's a spare for Mike Leland on strike. 107 through eight, 117 the ball through nine. Hit a 166 in that first round. And a 10 for Jerry Lapierre, 93 through 8. The 
Leva on the spare gets to Clary. Five fill, 122 through nine. Lap here, good ball. That's the five, eight, and the seven to the left. And one nine lead for Mike Leland. Lapierre, got it. That's a spare, right? Spare, that 103 ball to eight. Eight for Mike Leland, unofficially a 130 string. Nice ball in the pocket. These are the triangle, the four, seven, and the eight. Seven in the spare, 110 through nine. Strong second half, three marks after an open first half. Missed the opportunity for spare. Happy and clean 10 for 120, unofficial string. So Mike Lillens will shift over to lane three, off to our right. On watching Mike, second string scores of 126, 96, 130. Mike got 166 in that first string. When the official scores, you put on the table over there, second one. Yeah. Watch that. Can you have your white score sheet, please? Make the official score for team four here. Matt, Sean, and Jerry. Another white. Jerry, right there, sir. Yeah. Scores are confirmed for them. So we'll put these on the screen. We'll get ready to start a third string here in just a moment. All right, Amanda's going around with a couple of score cards. Let me get your scores on there. Excuse me. Maybe I'll take that scorecard again, guys. The cardboard score. Oh, the cardboard one? The cardboard one? Oh, it's okay. Okay. All right, you guys are going to move to the next lane. I'll get the scores card just a moment, put it on the screen. We have a new team in lane one this string. All right. Jenna, 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 what team is this? It's all set. Yeah, it's all set. Can you write the names down? Next two strings. All right, so a new team here on the left. Liz Black here will be on lane one. Turning 62 on August 5th in Oxford, Maine. Average of 107. Very high of 107. High single 148. High triple 330. High five, 558. High 10 of 1328. Matt Roberts will start off. Third spring and a strike to start. Beautiful shot there in the pocket. 10 plus 2 to stop the third of five. From Parsons Field, Maine, and Kiza Falls. Liz has five to go with the ball to go. She just needs to get four for a 10 box. No nine box allowed. And it's six to start, the third of five. Liz pulls out a start and strike and self drive Maine. Almost a double strike, but it does count for a strike. Not a clean strike, but it's a double strike, though, because a nine pin, a first ball of nine, is a strike. So a double strike to start.
for this black year is two. Over well, ten years, this is two point six pound bowling balls. Matt working a double strike on lane two. Seven. 27 through one, what a start. 37 the ball through two. This is open. That's the one, two, four, and an eight beyond the two pin. Roberts for a spare on double strike. Missed it to the left though, eight though. 45 through two, nothing wrong with that. What did, what did Liz get in that box? Jenna, what did Liz get? Box. That was the second box. That's a 10. What was the second box? Matt Roberts, 55 through 3. Six. Six. Two sixes. Two sixes for Liz to start, 12 through 2. JPS knows that the only here, Archie's uh, striking spirit. Uh, the try for spirit won't go. Are you going to keep the name Archie's still? Yeah, you know, so it was originally named the Strike and Spare, and uh, we wanted to give it our own little flair uh, when we refinished and remodeled the place. So we decided to name it Archie's after our French Bulldog, uh, who comes in here on occasion and uh, just spreads the love in, in this place. So uh, definitely dog friendly, and uh, we wanted to make sure that the, the history of the place uh, kept going. Is that 10? Spare for... Uh Matt Roberts, 65 in the ball through four. Tell, tell the viewers what you've done in this place. You took over, you said only one lane out of 10 was working. Correct, yeah. Now you got 10 working lanes. I know you got some work to do, but yep. you've done miracles in this place. Yeah, well, it, it's taken a lot. I, I gotta oh, he's got a lane break. I'll talk more, more to JPS Pinoza, the only at Archie Strike and Spare. On the spare. Roberts gets seven. 72 through four, what a start. There's Blackie yeah, trying to get going here. 22 3 at the 8 box. Roberts wide right. Good ball by Liz. Twirling and twirling won't go. Seventh man, Roberts, 79 half. A double strike and a spare seven. And that's a 10 and 9 pin for Liz Blackie yeah. here. 33-4. Strong start, Matt Roberts. Sean Gorin up now. There's a nice ball. That's a strike and nine pin on the first ball. This is in the gutter. Ten plus two. Sean had 134 in the first, 107 in the second. 10 plus 2, he had a shot in the third. Liz is open. He's 7 to go. At least 6 for a 10 box. Sean Dorn, Sacco, Maine, 28 year older, 109 deep bowler. Nice out from Liz, 8 box, 38 half. She's a good bowler, though. You know how you start, how you finish. Lauren, nice ball, eight. That's a seven, eight. We're gonna strike. It did go. It fell down. That's a double strike. Yeah, Robert's double strike. Teammate Sean Dorn a double strike. Seven ball there. Holzer for a spare. Missed it. Eight box to start. Third of five. In Parsonsfield, Maine. But Archie striking spare. Look at a triple strike. He got it. Bang. Wow. Triple strike to start. Four, Tim. Out to his teammate Matt with a double strike. Sean, a triple strike to start. Thirty through one. Same ball now, same ball. Come on, baby. 
That time he gets five. Incredible start. 55 through two. 65 and a ball here. Seven more. Seventy-two and three a spare. The Tim Holes are eighteen the ball through two. Tim will be returning forty-four on August eighth in South Paris, Maine. Richie from New York. Seven to Sean. Warren, seventy-nine through four. High similar one seventy-four yesterday by Stephen Ashey from Stars and Strikes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Stephen Paul play in Belfast, Maine. 174 for the 16 year older. Stephen Adams. Nice ball! Quick strike! He's got four strikes in five boxes. 89 plus two. And a beautiful shot for a spare after a seven, Phil. 25 through two, 35 and a ball through three. Pins are flying here. And Archie's striking spare in Parsons Field. Yeah. 79, right? 89, huh? That's two, right? Second ball is pressure third. Um, Tim's still bowling. Second ball has the one seven nine seven fill again. Forty two through three. Jerry Lapio Scott already on lane two. The third ball. He's two for a spare. Won't go. He's up to one and nine. Tim Holzer in eight and two spare seven so far. Lapierre, head pin, has the 8 and the 10 split. Would to possibly help. Just needs one, though, for a spare and 9 pin. 8 for Tim. Tim, can I have score sheet? I'm missing, a, I'm missing a box here. And that'll be a spare. 10 the ball to start for Jerry Lapierre. So Tim had three spare sevens. Turns out an 8 box. So 59 through 4, 867 half. Just going to fix these scores that are wrong here. I right, need what happened here now. Jerry Lapierre gets a strike on spare, 20 through 1, 30 of all through 2. Yeah. Dusty Woods starts on the spare. Yeah. And 7 on the fill, 17 after 1. Right down the middle of Spread Eagle. Jerry, 20 through 1, 30 plus 2 here through 2. That's a spare again. 27 plus 2. Jerry, 5 in the strike. 35 through 2. That's 2 for 7. 42 through 3. Boyd has four and one split. He's from Norway, Maine. He's from Highway, Maine. Just turned 70 on February 21st. Average of 92, career best average 103. And he's up to one and seven. Spare five, 32 through two. Dusty. Gets a 10 box there in 9 pin. 32 through 2, 42 in a ball through 3. That's right. Spare. Spare for Jerry Lap here. Try to get the store corrections here. Said 52 in a ball through 4. Third mark of the string. Very fast pace here in 9 pin. Dusty parallel pins plus the 8. Lappy up to the side gets 6. 58 through 4. Dusty's open. 
Dusty high single of 172. High triple of 350. High five 620. High 10 of 1050. Balls out of starts and strikes in South Paris, Maine. He's a 2.7 pound foot rolling glass. Falling for 52 years. He gets a 7 that time. 49 for 4. And that'll be a 10 for Jerry Lapierre. 68 half. Score sheet. Thank you. Just checking the official scores. Okay. Just right down the middle, 3 2 split. Yeah, Robinson. Hot start, 79 half. Double spike to start. Ryder Sean here, his teammate Sean. Got a triple spike to start. Six box, third string goes right. And he gets only four. Ward gets an eight, fifty-seven half. Score sheet, score sheet, please. Just check the official score sheet. Post them. Thank you. Here you go. That punches out. We missed that that time. One action and shot. Into the seven. 80, 66. Where's Blackie? You're trying to get going here. The 38, 39 half after the score correction. That's the one, two, seven, and nine. And it ends up with a seven. 46 to six. Now Roberts, fourth and left of one, two, four, and seven. That's a nice ball there. Look at this, you're kidding me, a diamond plus the seventh pin. Robert takes a spare in nine pin. 96 in the ball for seven. Third string of five. List is open. Five string format. Final round. Third round. Nice out for an eight. 54 through seven. On the sphere, Roberts goes left is three. 99 through seven. Back of five plus a seven, another good hit pin hit, nothing to show for it. Roberts has the one, three, six, and the nine behind the three pin, one piece of wood. Tough shot there for Liz. Eight for Matt Roberts, 107 through eight. And a 126 in the first, 124 in the second. And tough four for Liz Blackier. 58. He's six. All right, 58 through 8. Roberts, off to left, half west to left, the two in the eight. My least favorite shot. Liz bounces it to the right, half west to the right, the three and nine. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. That's a spare, a nine pin. 117 the ball in the nine. Fifth mark. And that's why I hate that shot right in the hole. When they've done that. Liz, tough three. It back to back four and three. 61 to nine. Robertson lane two, working a spare. Nice bad thing, crossed over to seven. Half what's the right, the three nine, ten to the right. Looks like two pieces of wood from a vantage point. One twenty-four to nine. And this hit the head pin a lot. She's been punching out. Not that time. Yeah, that's a strike. Good for her. First mark. Seventy-one plus two in the tenth. Roberts with a spare in the tenth. That's at 134 in a ball. He's got six marks here in the spring in this nine pin tournament. 
Again, 90 at first ball is a strike and nine pin. Nine and two balls is a spare. Nine and three balls is a ten. No nine boxes. Liz on the strike, it's four. Off to the right, and gets eight, ends up with a 79 string. Strong finish. Nice bounce back at that four and three. 79. I'm sure she's thrilled with that, but a decent ball. I'm sure she times. Nice we'll see you again next string. Mad Roberts finish up his third string, six on the fill. They get seven, 141, third string to Mad Roberts. Tim Holzer won that time, had a 67 half. Three spare sevens in a row in the middle. Steals the head pin, steals eight. Four pins left, nine to the right. This needs one for a spare. A lemon drop, one dollar. Rail Johnson's killing for the cancer. Sean's working a strike. And that's a clean spare. Tim Holzer, fourth mark in five boxes. 77 the ball through six. Here in the third of five. Sean's with a triple strike. Working one now here. Nice second ball, seven fill. 96 half. Chance to break the high single of 174 by Stephen Ashey, the ball play in Belfast. Tough one that fill for Tim, 78 and 6. Sean chops out one for an eight, 104 through six. Nice second ball. He's nine for his spare, gets eight. He's up to two to the left, the five to the right. He's one for a spare, he's got it. Actually, that's a nine, that's a ten box, rather. No nine box, a ten, it's the nine. Piece. So he's at 88 through seven. Sean nails the head pin, but look at this. Half was the right, the three nine. Can't see him from this vantage point. He's got three one split anyway. Oh, he got a nice shot for a spare. Beautiful shot. 114 above through seven. Holes are one, three, six, and seven to the left. Two pieces of wood. Sean Gorin on fire. Loves golfing, there's time off, loves computer video games. Right in the pocket, seven. 121 through seven. Eight for Tim Holzer, 96 through eight. And Sean gets another spare. He's on fire the string. 131 on the ball. Eight. Six marks, including three strikes, four strikes, including a triple strike. All in the first half. And his holes against four in that first ball. Nice ball. He's dying for a strike. It's eight. 139 to eight. Head been hit by two pin. Only got one. Tim Wall's only bowling for just seven months. He's just 2.5 pound bowling balls. I started the strikes. And another spare for Sean. Doran on fire again. 149 on the ball. That's an outside chance the high single. By Stephen Ashey yesterday. Eight box for Holzer. 104 unofficially for nine. Third and final round of this nine pin tournament for Archie Strike and Spare, Parsonsville, Maine. Nice ball, two full. Two one split, seven in the fill. 156. Needs a mark. And nice, that's a strike in nine pin. The holes are Tim's at 114 plus 210. He's two. He's got it. He's got a chance to high single. 166 in the ball. 
Needs a strike to break the high single. Nine rock. Need a strike. Nine thing. Versus Tim Holzer on lane one. The southpaw delivers. Off the left is five. Working a strike. Twenty-eight-year-old Sean Doran. Only four. Stephen Ashley holds on to the high single. One seventy unofficially. Tim holds an eight and a strike. One twenty-two. Sean, that one. Sean, a one seventy. One seventy. What a string. One seventy. See if we can talk to Sean real quick here. We'll check our scores here officially. But it's a 120, 121 officially for Tim. Back to live action here. Dusty Wood on lane one has a 2.7 spare lead. Jerry Lapierre has a pack of five plus a seven. That's a spare for Dusty Wood. Third spare of the string. 67 of all through six. Life here is open. Ugly lead. The one seven in the triangle, right corner. Six nine and ten. He has three marks this spring so far. Beautiful ball. Not much to show for it. Does get eight out of that. Ping pong action. Pinball action, I should say. 76 through six. Dusty Ward, the spare gets five, 72 for six. Sean Doran, you've only been bowling, what, how long have you bowling for? 24 years now. He's 20 years old. I know it's, ten, I know it's nine for this was a higher, but you can't sneeze at 170. Look. Your high single and regular ball is 171. That, that was actually a... Uh, oh, it's a shot for a spare. Ward, 82 in the ball through seven. Lafayette trying to get three, missed it. Continue, Sean. But that, this year, last year, I got that. Yeah. Before that, I was one spot at Sanford. You got a good, throw a good ball. Yeah. Hey. Tell us a few about the 560 championship you won, the 560 tournament. That, that was in uh, Freiburg. It was actually me, Jerry, and Matt, and then we picked up Triller guys from our house at Bowling Monday night. And I four four on a Thursday. And for Jerry Lafayette, 86 from seven. Dusty Ward working a spare in lane one. That looks good. Oh, look at this. You gotta be kidding me. Second five fill in a row. 87 through seven. Beautiful ball. Nothing to show for it. Funny game. Yeah. I love it sometimes. Nice ball. It's a strike in nine pin. Lafayette delivers. 96 and plus two through eight. The one's open. So one of the highlights. Tell the viewers, uh, Sean Doran, your, one of your highlights of your bowling career. So that's one of your highlights of your bowling career. Basically picking up like bowling more consistency during a bowling. Like after the just as the kitchen was closing, I started to find my more consistent rhythm. But I, for some reason, I always seem to lose in the winter months. Something always happens. You, in the you, like, you like the warm weather, huh? <laughs> Apparently, something always happens during like just as winter's starting. My arms are starting find where I want to throw and I gotta buy it again always. On the strike fill eight. 104 through 8. Dusty Wood has 7 last box, 94 through 8. Has a chance to force them up to 1247 Wood to help. He's 3 for a spare. Looks good. He's got it. A clean spare in the ninth. 104 to ball. And 10 box to Jerry Lapier. 114 unofficially. 9. Any other bowls in your family? My brother stopped after. Uh, he graduated high school, he's three years older than me. It's just basically me now, and I, my little niece just started uh, last year. Oh, nice shot! Strike in the 10th! 124 plus 2. Warden the Spear gets 3, 107 to 9. Very fast pace here, isn't it, Sean? Yeah. Good, way. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Sean Doran, from Stockholm, Maine. 170, third string. Just missed the high single, 174. I'm missing it. I'm missing it. I was a little camera. That's a 10 for Dusty Ward, a 117 unofficial string. 
They have known as 118. We'll just change it to 118. There you go. I know. That was up that was just gonna say. He was just gonna have Alright, so what's that? Is that a spare and strike? Spare and strike, sir. So 134 of this. Yeah. A strong finish for Jerry Lapierre. Ends up with unofficially 134. Wait for the official scores. Let's see Liz, Tim, and Doug. Next string also. That's their third string of five. That's the correction. 79 for Liz, 121 and 118. Tim and D Dusty, respectively. Sean, I need to switch. Is this right? Let's see if those are right. Just confirm the official scores. Is that a one? 141, yeah. 170, 134. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Those are official. So their third spring on fire. Matt Roberts, Sean Dora, and Jerry Lapierre. Fine scores there. 141, 170, and 134. Great performance. Again, highest scores in nine pin, but good for them. And we have other teams to finish up. We'll start our fourth stream momentarily. We'll stay with you live. All right, so thanks for hanging on. Paul Murphy live on Bolander Network. This is the nine pin tournament from Archie Strike and Spear in Parsonsfield, Maine, the beautiful section of Keys of Falls, Maine. A town of just under 2,000 people. JP. JP. We were talking earlier about your business with, with you are fixing a lane there. Sure, yeah. Um, One lane was working, we took over just over a year ago, and now you got 10 working lanes. Correct. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. we uh, we put a lot of love, a lot of sweat, and uh, a lot of money back back in these lanes to make sure that this place is going to be a place that will stay here for the next 60 years. You can't have that one. That's the official. Can you grab the, the sheets over there? Can you grab the, please, the sheets over there? Um, tell us about your restaurant and your full bar here. Sure. We, we have a full menu. Uh, we specialize in uh, handmade pizzas, all made fresh upon order. Uh, we make sure to do a little olive oil uh, infused with garlic and uh, Parmesan on the crust. Yep. Um, and then we, we also do takeout of a, a variety of things. Uh, you can give us a call anytime at 207-625-9508 uh, uh, for a takeout order or come in and, and grab a menu. You can also find it on our Facebook page. You get, what's that phone number again for takeout? It's 207-625-9508. Uh, uh, Thank you. J.P. Espinosa, owner of Archie Strike and Spare. All right. Okay, you're all set. Here you go. All right, Archie's gonna, uh, J.P. is going to talk to the audience. We're going to start our third string, fourth string in just a moment. We got Tim Porter, Jim Whitehouse, and Ken Cooper up next. All right, so a new team coming over to lane one here. Are you on lane, are you on lane one? Okay. Could you have them write their lineup on line one, lane one in the order? They'll line up on lane one. What was that? Lane one, when they come over here, have write their lineup down for me. Okay. Thank you. All right, getting ready to start. Team switching sides here. It's one string to the right. Every string. The team on lane seven or eight is moving all the way over to one now. Jenna Wood. Jenna. I need to cut a little shy. Tell the viewers about your bowling game. You're a former ICBA champ, junior champ, right? Well, it's not really a whole lot. And that's not right. Running an ICBA junior champ, something to sneeze at, right? It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Lane one. 
What's your, what's your, is that your highlight of your career when the ICBA? Probably. Is that a good career, bright career ahead of you? Yeah, hope so. Right, take care. Jenna Ward. So Tim Porter will lead off on lane one, followed by Jim Whitehouse and Kevin Buffard. Buffard. Tim Porter, Jim Whitehouse, Kevin Buffard. We'll be on lane one and lane two of the Liz Black here will lead up in lane two, followed by Tim Holzer and Dusty Ward again here in our fourth to five. Right, thanks for hanging out. Ready to start a fourth string. Nine ten tournament here. Right, Archie strike and spare. Arsons feel me. I thought you were going off about yesterday. Okay. Five oh six. Five oh six. All right, here we go. Liz Black here leading off on lane two. String number four underway. Off to right. Half with the right. Tim Porter, 8 4 7 lead of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Average of 91, career high 105 out of Hollis, Maine. Liz, half Worcester left. You're kidding me. Full Worcester. And there's a spare and nine pin for Tim Porter. 10 in the ball to start the fourth to five. Rules are 90 your first ball is a strike, 9 through 2 balls is spare, 9 through 3 balls to 10. And a tough four. That's a Paul Grant shot. Four to one. Liz can't blame it. Lane one now for that. <laughs> ball. Nice ball and spare. Six. Tough lead though. The five, eight in the middle. Full post seven, ten. Sixteen after one for Tim Porter. Seventy-five years young. Liz forced from right to 1, 3, 6, and 10. Order is open. And that is an 8. 12 through 2. Actually, there's no ball to go, my mistake. That's 8 for 10. Order is coming 4 through 2. He's 1 for 10, but 8 anyway. 12 through 2, like I said. Liz from Oxford, Maine, turning 62 on August 5th. Career high average of 107, high single 148, high triple 330, high five 558, high 10 1328. Out of stars and strikes, South Paris, Maine. Going for just 10 years. Threw that one away. Porter, the Sushi Special 5710 with Wood to help. Now Sushi made that shot. And the extra Sunday Foley this year with no Wood. It's there. And good second ball as the 8 and the 9. And that is a spare and nine pin for Tim Porter. Second spare, 30 point of all. He's ready. And that's a 10 box and nine pin for Liz Black here. 22 through 3. Tim Porter in lane one, working this spare. High single, 152. High triple, 350. High five, 560. Right down the middle, spread eagle. Four in the fill, 38 through 3. In the fourth of five. From Parsons Field, Maine. That's a good ball by Liz. And that is a strike. Hey, Liz, doesn't count when you turn around. <laughs> Give her a strike. 32 plus 2 through 4. Good for her. And by double bunch. Tough 5 at the spare 4. 43 and 4. This is a strike in the 10th box, last play. And going to double, gets seven, the first ball. Just needs to get two for a spare and strike. Sim uses 2.6 pound Paramount bowling balls, bowling for 60 years. Started with his high school team. Liz, seven in the strike, 39 and four. Another spread eagle for Tim. Liz is 7, 46 half. 
Tim made the top five seniors in the main open states this year. So he's fishing, bowling, and swimming. And he gets a 10 in my opinion. That shot, nine is a 10. 53 half, Tim Porter. Tim Holzer. That's the diamond. He's got about 27% of pro bowls that would for the spreading production stats. Jim Whitehouse on lane one. Hooks it left. Right, Jimmy, here we go, right. Better start for Liz here in fourth spring. Oh, beautiful ball, eight. Right, Seven for Tim. Start the fourth. Teleconference spare in nine pin. Jim Whitehouse, 10 of the ball to start. Jim Whitehouse from Hollis, Maine. 94 average right now, career best 98. Holzer gets only four that time. Whitehouse in the spare, off to the right. Sizzles, six, has a dime in the middle. 16 after one. Is that seven or nine? Uh -huh. 57 or 57 or 59. Oh, uh, that's a uh, seven. And he's open here. Top six. The holes are Tim's at 13 through two. White House 824 through two. No nine box allowed, a nine pin. Jim turned 65 this past February 25th. Out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. High single 137, high triple 353, high five of 541. That's the one, two, four, and the eight. Two pieces of wood. Going for just five years. Friends got involved. Holes is open. Jim has one state tournament title on his belt. And that's a spare, a nine pin. Second spear of the string, 34 and a ball through three. Tim Holzer an eight, 21 through three. Tim out of stars and strikes, South Paris Rangers, 2.5 pound ball balls. Just blown for seven months. Six in the spear again for Jim, 40 through three. Nice ball there. It's a strike in nine pin. Beautiful ball in the pocket. 31 plus two. Nice bounce back. That looks good. He's got a clean spare. Second in the row. Three in the four boxes. 15 the ball through four for Jim Whitehouse. Average is getting higher and higher, he said. So I've blown just over half a year. It's a break, has seven, it has a seven, eight, and ten split, working a strike. White House in the spare four that time, 54 through four, in the fourth of five. Oh, nice try. Oh, only got one, eight in the strike, 39 through four. White House chopped out the six pin. Nice nine, that's actually a ten in the ninth, ninth, and that's a ten box. 49 half. Nice finish after a 21 to 3 star. And a six for Jim Whitehouse. 60 half. If you go to Anchor Bowl, it's Sierra. Kenneth Boulevard on the left. Dusty Ward on the right. Jim Whitehouse, a good half, 60. Holzer a strong finish, 49 half. That's the good one. Round six, seven, one. So the two pin moved over, the one, two, and the seven, a bunch of wood to help. Diamond, okay. There's two for spare, and he gets it. And a spare for can to match. Ten in the ball to start the fourth, strong of five. 
from Parsons Field, Maine, at Archie Strike and Spare. Outstanding homemade pizza. I had it yesterday. Tremendous. High quality pizza. Really good. Best around in the area. Four for Dusty. 14 up to one. Ken Bufard gets only five. Tough lead there for the head pin. 15 up to one. Dusty, 72 yards right now. Career high of 103 for his glory days. Oh, that's a spare. The ninth pin. 24 plus two for two. His high single is 172. High triple 350. High five 620. High 10 1050 out of stars and strikes. South Paris, Maine. Over 52 years. He still uses the heaviest ball you can use. 2.7 pound. It's the Cobra brand. That's a seven. It's a Ken Bufar, 22 through two. Ken, 99, average ball of 112, career high. Returning 68 on August 5th, he's from Saco, Maine. Boy, that's fucked it right for one till, 25 and two. Spare four, spare one. Ken, that's for one, three, seven, and nine, three pieces of wood. Ken's high single, 184, high triple 405, out of the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. And that's a spare in ninth pin. Second spear of the string, 32 on the ball, 2 3. Ken's high 5, 6, 20, high 10, 12, 10. Ball for 40 years. This kid's got him interesting ball. That'll be an 8 box for Dustin Ward, 33 through 3. Nice ball on the head pin, but a 2 2 split. Breaks up the 10 pin, now it's 2 1. 6 pin on the right, 4 7 on the left, 39 through 3. Dusty parallel pins plus the nine. Might get two for a spare. Missed it. Pins one as a pro tour. Went. Nice shot. A spare. A spare. A spare. A spare. A spare for Dusty Ward. Third spare. Forty-three and a ball through four. Jenna, is that a 10 over here? One, yeah, 10. Lane, was that 10 box? Eight box, okay. Good to see from her angle. Eight box for Ken, 47 to 4. Dusty, three in the spare, 46 to 4. Three spares, but only fills a 4, 1, and 3. Nice second ball, won't go for the spare. Dusty enjoys hunting and fishing this time off. Cool. And he gets a 10 box, 56 half. And a 10 for Ken, 57 half. Scores are confirmed. All right, thank you. And back to the top of the order. There's Black here. 46 half. It's a triangle. Tim Porter in lane one, spread eagle. Tim at 53 half, was a 46 half. Wide right. So I got these three here, right in the middle. Liz. That'll be a 10 and 9 pin. 56 to 6. Tim looks at the got a tough four. 57 to 6. These are the official scores. Halfway through the fourth spring of five. The Hockey Domain 9th in tournament. Long Grand Five. On Bollinger Network. There's a nice ball there. Eight. That's the two and four. He's one more for a spare, at least. Just one is all you really need. Nine. For a spare, missed it. Just need nine and two balls for a spare. It's nine ten. 
One five to ten leave for ten quarter. Liz, it's a ten box, nine pin. Sixteen six through seven. No nine box allowed. That's a ten box. And a beautiful out there for that's a ten box also. The ten four is sixty seven to seven. String number four or five. From Archie Strike and Spare, Parsons Field Maine, in Caesar Falls. This from Oxford, Maine, goes left, grabs four. Quarter off the left, just everything. Lids off to the right, it's the diamond in the center. Diamonds only go about 27% for pro bowls, not wood. What is spread eagle direction traps. 3 2 split, quarter. Lids, nice ball. But only gets two for an eight. 74, too late. Quarter, top five. 72 to 8. Had two fives and four blocks of spring, lowering its score. Has two spares with six fill and four fill early on. Nice ball for Liz. That's the, called a hay bale, pack of five. Triangle plus the seven pin. The ten quarter. He's four for a spare and he gets only three. Tough break again. Another good ball, nothing to show for it. Would have missed everything. And that's a 10 box, a clean 10. 84 through 9. 38 in the last four boxes, good pin. 7 to 10 quarter, 79. 9 They have final box of the fourth string, 5 There's a nice ball just off the left though, 1, 2, 4, sorry, 1, 3, 6, 10 for West Bank. That's about 36% before the ball is on wood. Pretty production stats. Diamond center for Tim Porter. And that's a spare in nine pin. 94 and a ball in the 10th. And that's a spare also, a clean spare for Jim. An illegal block in the back. 70 to ball through six. I'm sorry, 80, wrong box. 89 to ball in the 10th. His third spare, the spare six in the first, spare four in the second. Liz and the bonus, only one tough break. 95 spring at a strike seven in the fourth. These are unofficial scores. Tim Porter, he hooks it and he gets nothing. Spear one and a spear zero back to back. Both bullets. 89 string. There's a spear one timid. Zero. That spear. Tough walk there. 89 string. Yeah. Bring me a down there. <laughs> Second bowl is here now. Tim Holzer. 49 half. And a strike eight in the fourth. Catch for a spare. Yeah, I got it. Clean spare. 59 the ball for six. Jim Whitehouse has the force from right to one, three, six, and ten. Tim at a 121 that last spring. There's three on the field. 62 through 6 in the 4th of 5 from Parsons Field, Maine, and Archie Strike and Spare. White House is open. 5 left up. 10 holes. That's a clean 10. 
10, 70 through 6. He takes 3 and 4 here for 10 bucks. And he gets a clean 10, 72 through 7. So again, the rules are 9 pin. The first ball drop of 9 is a strike. 2 ball total of 9 is a square. 3 ball total of 9 is a 10. No 9 boxes. Beautiful shot right in the pocket with a 3 1 split. 10 pin right corner, 2 4 7 to the left, 1 piece of wood for Jim Whitehouse. Oh, get a big break there. 6 10, perfect set there. Tim holes right, and that's a strike. Whitehouse 80 plus 2 through 7. This should be a layup for Holzer. He's won, and he missed it in the gutter. That won't count. Eight box. Yeah. Eight for eight. Ball got away from him. Whitehouse working a strike. Has the one. That goes away. Seven, nine, and ten. Needs to get two for a spare in this nine-pin format. Holzer, only two. He's that wood. Looks good. He got it. It's a spare. One strike. 97 behind the ball for eight. Holds it. Half with the yikes. Six to go. Whitehouse on the ball. He goes right. Steals eight. Gets a break. Has the one in the two. 108 through eight, brutal four. The Tim Holes at 84 through nine. Oh, he missed the shot. Just need to get one for a spin. Missed it. Tim enjoys camping, loves the outdoors. In South Paris, Maine. Richard from New York. Nice ball there. There's the five, nine, and ten. Eight box. The White House, 116 through 9. It's final box of the fourth string. Tim gets it for a spare. In the 10th, 94 in a ball. Strike 8, spare 3 earlier on. Beautiful head pin hit. Half was to left at 2 and the 8. For Jim Whitehouse. High single 137, high triple 353, high five 541. One for 51 years. He's won. He's got it. Clean spare in the 10th. 126 in the ball. Both working in spares. Anchor balls to follow to finish up the fourth string. One more after this. Oh, I hooked it. Only got one. 95 string. Right now, head been hit. It's 7, 8. 8 is the fill. Unofficially, 134. Jimmy. What a string. 134 for Jim Whitehouse. Dusty Ward will start from lane two here. Oh. And a 56 half. Thank you. Nice ball. It's eight. That's the three and the ten. Kenneth Bufard. That's the five plus the ten. You get a 57 half. It's one for a spare. And he's got it. Clean spare. 66 in the ball for six. One and two. One and two. Oh. And that's a ten box and nine pin. To Ken Bufard, sixty seven through six. <laughs> Dusty Ward working a spare in lane two. It's eight. 74 through 6. Bufar has 4 there, 6 to go. He's 1 for spare, missed it. Beautiful shot, spare, clean spare for Bufar. 77 to ball through 7. 
two tens in experience, last three boxes. That'll be a ten box for Dusty. And nine ten, eighty-four through seven. On the spare, 10 gets 4. Diamond plus a 7 and 10. 81 through 7 in the 4th of 5. From Parsons Field, Maine, an Archie Strike and Spare. Last thing is 2. 1 3 lead to Ken. And from Saco, Maine. This to the left for an eight. 89 to eight. Parallel pins plus the two pins to the left. Okay. Dusty. He's big out and he gets eight. 92 to eight. Two boxes to go on the fourth string. We'll mark this. Three in that first ball for Ken. Uh, the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Great owner in Mike Walker. He's up the 1, 3, and the 9 behind the 3 pin. Boyd hooks it left to get the 7 pin only. Ken with an 8, 97 through 9. Nice second ball. Oh, that's a spare. Good shot. That's how it works at 9, Ken. 102 in the ball if you're 9. Two fires, only 4. Six in the spare. 108 through 9. Dusty for no way, man. Just missed it. And 10 ends up with a 10 for unofficial 107 third string. Dusty Ward a 6. Unofficial 114. So get the official scores. Come up the screen. Boys got a fifth string. So officially it's 92. Tim Holzer. It's Dusty 114, so after the corrections. Thank you. And a score correction on Tim Whitehouse 131 officially. So we'll just change the score in the bottom. That's the fourth string. That is Tim and Dutch. I head over to lane three. And we'll have Tim, Jim, and Ken on lane two to finish up the match. That string come up shortly. Very interesting format, nine pin. You ever done it? Very exciting format. B20 at Scarborough does this a lot. First one here at Archie Strike and Spear. Paul Griffey live on Bowling during Network. Thanks for watching this great game of Caleb and Bowling. Just a reminder, two weeks from today, it's the grudge match. It's the Dyer versus Dyer. One's going to win. The main men's money match, too, for $1,000. Sunday, July 31st, 12 noon. The first one, if you missed it, was a good one. Catch the rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe for free while you're there. We'll be on Bowling during Network noon, two weeks from today, from All Play. You want a Paul Dyer? And new owner of 1710 coming up soon, Mark Carrier. Coming up again, face up John Drake and Lewis Dyer from All Play in Belfast, Maine. Again, that's Sunday, July 31st, two weeks from today. Men's Money Match 2, 12 noon, live, Boulder Network, and Jerry and Kelvin Chat. And we're getting ready to start our fifth screen in just a moment. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. I'm getting ready to start in just a moment. We're just waiting for final totals for the teams. Jenna.
Chenna, can you give me the lineup when they come over here in lane one? Can we give us a uh, fifth spring in just a moment? All right, guys. And if you want up this score over here, we're going to go ahead and do the 50 50. It must have been last minute. We'll do the 50 50 raffle first, and we're going to start at fifth spring. Right. You guys want to grab your ticket? Grab your ticket. You know to JPS Penosa? Check out this new place, Archie Strike and Spare, brand new renovated alleys since 1963. Nine, three, nine, one for the $56. There we go. Liz, Good job. Here's Ron Liz. Liz won the raffle. All right, we're going to switch over again to lane, stay up back on lane one and two. Our fifth and final string of this three round format. Nine pin tournament from Parsonsfield, Maine and Archie Strike and Spare in Keys of Falls, Maine. What team? You're on lane one? Yes. What team are you? We're Old Town Bowling Center. What's your question? Who's that? Who's the I'm Can you grab the list? Don't you? Shoot yeah, over there, right. Team from Old Town, Maine will be on lane one. We'll put the official scores on the screen afterwards when we're ready. And before I stop, put all the scores in the rounds. High single so far is Stephen Ashey of All Play Belfast. He has a high single of 174. They lead the tournament so far. John Froggy Sear, we're going to see here. We're going to see Clark. Caddy Mino and Michelle Atherton, no relation to Brian Atherton. And on lane two, we're going to have again the same lineup as before Tim Porter leading off, Jim Whitehouse second, and Kenneth Bufard be third. JPS knows to make its announce before it starts fifth string. We, we have been honored to have some of the best bowlers here in Maine uh, the past two days. And um, we're honored. So, if you guys get a chance, uh, you can do us a favor. Give us a like on Facebook if you got it. Uh, give us a, a review, let us know how we're doing. Uh, we really appreciate you guys coming down. Appreciate you guys giving the heartbeats, uh, trying to prepare uh, a chance this weekend. It's a lot to us. Lots of the other bowlers that are in this tournament as well. Well, everybody's ready. We're going to get going with this last string here. Get the final string about to get started now. Now, wish everybody luck, all right? Last string on, on, on the roll. All right. Check out that pizza. It's really good pizza here. The burgers are excellent. Great food, high quality. Pizza's the best in the area by far. All right, we're going to start with the final string of this nine pin tournament. Nine ball, dropping your first ball is a strike. Nine on two balls is a spare. Nine on three balls is a ten. No nine balls. Ten forty is three. And here's the froggy man, John Sear. They call him Froggy. He's a good swimmer at a young age. They say he swim like a frog, they call him Froggy. He has the one and seven. From Old Town, Maine. And as I shot the spare. Can the ball start the fifth and final string of the match? What a tough three to start. John, 54 years old. Birthday October 10th. Forty gets one. Jim from Hollis, Maine. Froggy, six, one, two, four, and the eight beyond the two pin. Sixteen after one in the fifth. What a nice comeback as the one, two, and the four. John Froggy Sears averages. John Sear, they call him Froggy, average of one ten. And that counts to 10 and 9 pin, 26 through 2. 7 for Porter, Simmons at 10 through 2. 
Foggy, foggy rather, foggy as a high sum of 166, high triple of 420, 420 high 5597, high 10 of 1119. Pulls out of Old Town Bowling Center in Old Town, Maine. This is 2.6 pound Paramount bowling balls. Bowling for just nine years. Three for Porter on lane two. On the head pin is a half blister. Left with two eight and seven left. Pieces of wood. Good bid by Porter. No, won't go for the spare. Has one and two left. Just needs one for a ten box and nine. Froggy for another one. Oh, good rod. That look good. That's a 10 for Porter. 20 through 3. 10 for Froggy, 36 through 3. And 9 pin, that's a 10 box. Drop the quarter. Froggy just off the right. Moves the force a little bit over. That's the one, two, the four and a half, and the seven. Quarter gets a seven, twenty seven to four. Froggy missed a chance for a spare. Perfect string so far. Six, a spare six and two tens. At least one for a ten box and nine pin. It's a clean ten. 46 and four. In the fifth and final string of the tournament. Two rounds yesterday, one today. Almost 17 teams. Forty gets four, looking for his first mark. Nice single, 152. Almost, he's up to one in the eight. Froggy, as the one pin goes away, now it's the four, seven, and the nine to the right. Two pieces of wood. Porter with an eight for a disappointing 35 half. Froggy, don't go. That's a 10 and 9 pin, 56 half. So a perfect half. Which either a strike, spare, or 10. He's got a spare, 6 and 4 tens. Fifth and final spring underway here. Parts are still main. The lemon drop, $1 for Al Johnson's candle fits for cancer pin. Jim Whitehouse. Mark Caddy Vino on lane one. That's some wood to help. Whitehouse is open. Nice ball. That's good for a spare and nice. And ten of the ball to start the fifth. Whitehouse up six. Clark's birthday, July 29th. Coming up soon. Two days after mine. I'll trade years with you, Clark. If you want to trade years, I'm happy to trade years. It'll be 52. From Brewer, Maine, originally from Dedham, Maine. White House gets five. Diamond plus the 10 pin. 10 pin goes away. Clean diamond. Clark on the spare. Puts it to the stop sign. Great piece of wood. The parallel pins plus the seven. 14 after one. In the fifth. White House is open. That's the one on the five. He's at the one seven high low jackpot. One seven ten. That's a ten box. 
the ninth pin. Jim Whitehouse, 16 through 2. And 8 for Clark, 22 through 2. Jim from Hollis, Maine. Sixty-five years young. It's four and two. All right, Jimmy, come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, nice ball in the pocket. Almost a strike. Just one more for a spare. It's the five to the left, the nine to the right. Right else in the hole. Ouch. And that's a spare, a clean spare for Clark. Second spare in three boxes, 32 in the ball. White House is six. 22 and three. Clark size single, 170, high triple, 416, high 10 of 1210. Three in the fill, 35 to three. White House has a chance for one, two, four, and nine. Just needs three for a spare, a nine pin. Clark in the pocket, that's a clean spare. Two in a row, three and four boxes, 25 and a half and four. White House is open. Clark has spare four and spare three so far. This is 2.7 pound bowling balls out of Old Town, Bowling Town, Old Town, Maine. That's a 10 for White House, 32. Through four. Right, okay. Six ten and six ten. Clark, another spare three. Back to back three fills. Forty eight to four. White House leaves up at one seven and nine. Clark, one seven six and ten to the right. Bad pin that time. Can't believe it. It's Nate for Clark. 56 half. That'd be a 10 box, 9 pin. Jim Whitehouse. 42 half. Make a ball's coming now. Give me a score sheet, please. Michelle Atherton on lane 1. Ken Bufard on lane 2. All right, so you missed a spare seven at second box by Froggy. So we're going to just change the score in the sheet to 63. Thank you, Frog. Oh, that was good. He did, too. Ken gets seven as the one, two, and the four. Michelle gets two. I need this score sheet. Yes, yes. Score sheet. Missed the opportunity. Just needed two for a spare. Michelle, wide right. The pin blue card. It's got the fifth string. Thirty-six officially. That's pretty cool, huh? It's in quarter and seven. Michelle happens in the start. What a whiskey, yikes. Again. I bounce back. Nice ball. Almost pulled it off. It's at the goal post for seven and ten. Michelle only gets four. Beautiful shot. Good shot. That's a 10 box, a 9 10. Clean 10 anyway. 18 for 2. Oh, what time? Oh, good time. ball. I think so. Spares the shell. 17 the ball for 2. Shell Offenson. Yes. 10 gets 3. Shell, 51 years old. Richard from Searsport, Maine. Not from Old Town, Maine. That's a strike on Spare, a 9 pin. 27 through 2, 37 plus 2 through 3. Average right now, 104, career high, 108. 
Good bid there, if I can. Just seven boxes, just 25 to three. Michelle's high single, 157, high triple, 353. Throwing a high five of 548 and a high 10 of 1065. Those are old town lanes in old town Maine. Just 2.6 pound paramount corn balls. 179 and 10 lead, two pieces of wood. Michelle Appleton, 32 split, working a strike. Nice ball. That can spare. That's a work. How it works in nine pin? Nine and two balls. 35 in the ball through four. The blue card. Michelle, seven in the strike, 44 to three. Michelle Ball said she could walk. That won't count. We got a seven, 51 through four. Blue card in the spare is five. 44. Michelle took 15 years off, just started again bowling a year and a half ago. Parents also bowled. She's doing a women's state singles tournament. She'll be after a 15 year hiatus. And that's a nice ball. That's a strike in 10 pin. 9 pin, rather. A 9 pin strike. 61 and a half plus 2. Michelle. What, what did he get in his last box? Ken, Ken got a spare. We're looking away. 50 half. The second spare in a row. Back to the top of the order. That's a strike. Tim Porter starts off. Second half. First match, mark of strength. 46 plus 2. Okay. Strike also for Froggy. 73 plus 2 through 6. I need this for you. Both working on strikes. Tim Porter gets four to the right, the one, three, seven. I need this for you. Right. On the strike, it's a, it's a double. Nine's all you need in the first ball. Double strike with Froggy. Six in the strike for Tim Porter. 52 through 6. That's, that's crap. Okay. That's six box. 58 to 7. Put these up. We're in the fifth and final string here. This nine pin tournament. Ball is alive on Bowling Bowling Network. Froggy and Lane White working on a double strike. Yeah, nice ball, clean strike. Beautiful shot. 68 plus 2 through 8. Had a spirit strike 6 earlier. And, six. and for a triple, that's a triple strike. For Froggy. So good, my eyes are terrible. Four against half Western on that first shot. He's right. For four in a row, I get eight. What a shot. Eight. Tough free fill. For four. 71 through 8. For a spare on triple strike, box. 8 for Porter, sends it 79 through 9. And that's a 10 box. That's a spare, box. Oh, a spare, I'm sorry. Fix that sheet quickly. That's a spare, not a 10 box. My mistake. Hey, three box no wow, there. that's 151 in the ball through nine all of a sudden. As Porter drops down six. He went from a, this 63 half to 151 in the ball through nine. A triple strike, eight, and a spare. 
93 through 6, 121 through 7, 141 through 8. And there's a beautiful shot. Spare for 4 and 10. 89 in the ball through 9. On the spare, 8. He's got a chance for the high single. Stephen Ashley has the mark at 174. He's one to convert. 174 is the high single. That ain't terrible, is it? No, nope. he needs sparks to get it right. Straight up, he does. 169 in the ball. Needs six to get the high single. Needs six. Five to fill. Five to fill for 94 string. After 36 half, strong finish, 58 half for Tim Porter. 94 strength. Six for the high single. Stephen Ashley at 174 yesterday. 169 in the ball here. Six for the high single. John Sayer, Froggy. Needs six. That looks good. Hey, he's got it. He's got the high single. And it's a strike on spare. 179. What a performance by Froggy. Wow. Nice. 179. Okay. 179. Oh, wow. 179. We got to talk to Froggy afterwards. Stephen Ashley takes a back seat after all that. He's down to the final string of the match. In the final round. Stephen Ashley, only 16 years old. Great teaching. Oh, beautiful shot. Clean strike. For Clark. 66 plus 2 through 6. Jim Whitehouse, 42. Half open here. Clark, Kenny Mino. 66 plus 2 through 6. Tough six for Jim Whitehouse, 48 and six. Clark's high single, 170, high triple, 416, high 10, 1210. Welcome, 34 years. It's his favorite bowling moment is uh, every time he beats Ken Lloyd. Likes to rub it in his face. It's good fun. Off to the left, still seven. That's the one, three, and the six. Working a strike. Three fitness covered 51% for Pro Bowls that would. Staff provided by Spread Eagle Productions. Tony Mino for spare. Yes, a clean spare and strike. 76 through 6, 86 in the ball through 7. That's TV, right? I'm you can bring him up. You can bring him up. It's one that time. Watch this stuff. It's actually 59 officially. 59 on 7. Clark ate that fill, 94 to 7. Jim is punching out here like crazy. Here in the fifth. And he got it. That's a spare. Fire relief. 104 in a ball through eight. He's got three marks in a row. Six in the string. First half, it fills a 4 3 and 3. Better here in the second half. A strike, spare eight. Now another spare. What did I do? Top three for White House, 62 through eight. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And Jim Whitehouse finally gets a break. It's a strike. Nice bounce back in that three box. First mark of the string. It's Clark broke lane. Clark broke lane one. He's going to send you a bill. 
Huh? He's gonna send you a bill in the mail to fix oh, it. I know he is. <laughs> hey, go bring your. Uh, go down there with him. Go down there with him. <laughs> Work for the strike. <laughs> Only got two. Tough break. Tough swing. Three to Phil. 75 to 9. Vincent, Vincent. She made a 151 last string, 131 last string, and you can't catch a break this string. Gets five for a disappointing 80 this string. Here's Vincent with his father Clark. Future, future bowling star there. That is fame to claim. Tell everybody to watch the Vincent channel on YouTube pretty yep. soon. Yep. <laughs> We're going to talk to some of the bowlers afterwards. Our fifth and final spring of this tournament. Final five blocks is coming up here. You have to talk to the left side. The ice and Clark. Yeah. <laughs> Three for lane two to get fixed. Fifth and final string of this tournament, nine pin. And Bufa will start off ahead on lane two. Working a spare, 15 a ball. Spare five in the fourth, spare in the fifth. Clark, Kenny Mino. On the spare, that's a strike. And now he put a clean strike on spare. 114 through 8, 124 plus 2 through 9. Four in a row. Six in the spare for Ken. 56 half. And he got a clean spare. Three in a row for him. 66 in the ball through six. Pins are flying here in Parsons Field. At Archie's strike and spare. Clark on a strike for double. He will weevil wobble, but they don't fall down. Looks like a strike. And a clean strike on spare for Ken Bufard. 76 through 6, 86 plus 2 through 7. What a finish. He's one. Got it. Spare on strike. 134 through 9, 144 in a ball to 10. His teammate Froggy just got a 179. And a lemon drop. One dollar for Al Johnson's count pitch a cancer pin. Working a strike. Mark of the bonus is three. 147 unofficial string. Actually, five marks in a row to close out the string. Eight in the fill for Ken Bufard, 94 through seven. And it's an eight box, 102 through eight. Have you a score sheet, please? 147, right? 147? Okay, that's official. Look at these scores. Unbelievable bowling. I know it's ninth and scores are higher, but it's still very good. Ken has the pack of five, the hay bale. He's still at the front of the strike, seven, has a triangle. 61 plus two. Hey, Paul, I want to thank you for getting Vincent on there. He loves cameras. He loves this type of stuff. He's fascinated by it, so thank you very much. How old is he now? Vincent's seven years old. Is he, is he bowling yet? Oh, he throws a couple balls, absolutely. Is he, is he, is he using the bumper guards? Is he, is he no, no, <laughs> absolutely. You don't use the bumpers, do you? I never have. Never. Good. Never. Future, future bowling star, right? You know, uh, future bowling star or future vacuum uh, repair specialist, <laughs> one or the other. He loves his vacuum cleaners. You got a lot to watch on YouTube for a spare for Ken Buffard. You got a lot to watch on YouTube for the Vincent Vacuum Channel because it's coming. <laughs> 112 and a ball through nine. Michelle happened to eight in the strike. 
69 half. He gets an eight, 77 through six. Super, nice shot. That's a strike in nine, Pam. 122 through nine, 132 plus two in the 10. We'll talk to some of the bowlers afterwards. We'll get your son back up there again. All right. After the fifth string. Now he's fascinated by your setup here. He loves this type of stuff. He owns a bunch of cameras. Absolutely digs it. After the clear, he can the strike. It's three. Go get it, Michelle. Go get it. Winding down here, fifth and final string this tournament. Three ships, two days. Two part eight on the strike, unofficially a 140 fifth string. That's a seven box for Michelle Appleton, 84 to seven. For Fisher, it's a 79 for Jim Whitehouse, that string, and now for 80. Michelle, nice ball there. Half was to right, the 3, 9, 7, left, two pieces of wood. Just needs two for a spare in 9 pin. She's at 84 through 7. For a spare, looks good. And she got it. 94 to ball through eight. Two bucks to go in the tournament. One forty. What do you want to chicken scratch? Ten blue fry. Good string. Nice bounce back. That one oh seven. Fourth string. Michelle on the bonus. Three. Ninety seven to eight. Go get it. Looks good. Oh, wouldn't carry. Three pins to the right, four seven to the left. Yeah, we agree, Paul. If I get two for a ten box and nine pin, that's how it works. A ten. One oh seven through nine. One box to go in the match. And the tournament. We'll talk to some of the bowlers and AP Espinosa at the end. Or JP Espinosa at the end. All right, all right. Go get it. Michelle has a chance for a spare. It's the three, eight, and ten. Three pieces of wood. Just needs two for a spare. Final box of the match in the tournament. Looks good. And she's got it. 117 the ball in the 10th. Laura. Eight, nine, and ten now. Eight, nine, ten. Final ball of the match. The whole crowd watching her. She's in 179 in this match. Off to the right, five. Ends up with a 122 fifth string. Michelle Appleton. Right. Huh? Wait for the official score. We'll put the scores on the screen before we sign up. Talk some of the bowlers and the owner, JP Espinosa. All right, you get the first pick up your ball, grab your shoes, get, get all packed up. This here. You want lemon drop pool. One dollar lemon drop pool. I saw another one earlier. Thank you. That one. That one. Yeah, that's Pass two. Thank you. Donated. Get that beer out of the way. Can you get that bottle out of the way? Appreciate that. JP. Thank you. Come up here. So, JP Espinosa. Your first tournament here, wonderful job. I know it's an adjustment the first time you do it. Yeah. Adjustment for me doing a nine pin tournament. A lot of fun though. I, it was a lot of fun. I, I'm just I'm humbled and honored that we got to host an event like this, and you know everybody's walking away happy, even if, if they didn't win. Everybody had a good game and it was nice and clean. So. Well, you said the tone about the behavior, the uh, uh, ethics, and things. I think that's a really good thing to do. Also. Absolutely. I, I mean that's why everybody bowls, right? Is to have a good time, and we can all be competitive, which is fine. But you got to remember those core core tenets of any game and what brought you to it. So yeah. yeah. So tell the viewers again about your restaurant here, your full bar. Yep, absolutely. So Archie's uh, Strike and Spare. You can find us on Facebook. Um, 
We've got a, a full menu. We've got pizza. Every, every single one of them is uh, freshly made, handmade uh, by our wonderful local staff here. We uh, source all of our ingredients uh, from a company called Dennis Foods, which is uh, Maine owned, and uh, the employees actually own, own the place, which I think is a beautiful thing. Uh, and we, we've got a full drink menu, everything from soft drinks, uh, beer, wine, uh, cocktails, uh, and uh, everything in between the sun. Uh, you can come in, you can get um, food to eat here, or you can do takeout. It's 207-625-9508. Again, that's 207-625-9508. You can find our menu online, or we got some paper uh, menus for to come in and grab uh, at any time you wish. Congratulations, successful tournament. Great job keeping the lanes up. I know you got more to do, but great effort so far. Thank you. And uh, any any members of the surrounding area, uh, Friday coming up, we've got two for Jackson. An amazing band, uh, no cover charge. You guys can come in, have a great time, just sit back, relax, and, and enjoy the sun. Also, Renee, Renee McKinney and Michael McKinney uh, Motel. Absolutely, the Midway Lodge here in Cornish. Uh, they have been working with us to make sure that uh, we can accommodate anybody that wants to come down for the tour. They're an amazing uh, business, and uh, we we love partnering not only with like the Midway Lodge but other businesses in the area. So uh, anything that we can do to, to help you out, if you got a business in the area, please reach out. And they've also them. offered a 15 percent discount for bowls to stay over. Oh, that's that's great news. Yeah. There you go. Hi, where's Vincent? Where's Vincent? Over here. All right, where's the where's the 179 where's the 179 guy? Froggy, right there. Okay, Froggy. Let's talk to Froggy first. We'll save the best for last. We'll save the best. Save Vincent for last. Froggy, you got the highest single that I know of. 179. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Toward a great ball. What what is what has been working for you the last few months in bowling? Uh, just trying to stay focused on getting the pins I want to hit, and. Uh, I realize sometimes I'll overthrow a little bit, and I can compensate to slow that ball down a little bit, slow myself down a little bit, get back on the pin I'm looking at, and it happens. Great effort, great performance. Great yep. to meet you. Thank you. Right, let's bring in the uh, star here, Clark. His son, Vincent. Vincent, tell us how old you are. Ten. Yeah? When's your birthday? April 3rd. <laughs> okay. My nephew's birthday is April 3rd. No way. Yeah. So, uh, how's your bowling going so far? You haven't, you haven't get a triple strike yet? <laughs> That's coming. That's, we got goals. You know, we got goals. Do you know what your high single is so far? <laughs> About a 70. You've probably been in the 70 so far. That's better than me, right? his age. <laughs> so, in school now, second grade? Second grade. Second grade. Yep, second grade. Yeah. Second grade. Yeah. He's going to be a future bowler, huh? You know, I hope so. Like father, like son? You know. Right, congratulations. Um, his dad's got a bowling alley, so. Uh, and yes, and tell us about your bowling alley. Old Town. Old Town, Maine? The Old Town Bowling Center. How many lanes do you have there? We have 12 in Old Town. Yeah, it's synthetic or wood? We're wood. Okay. A lot of tournaments up there, too? Not yet, but we will. We're going to have three with the states this year. We're going to have the 335 in December. We're going to have a senior tournament, 225 Easter weekend. So we're going to go Wednesday, Saturday to get out of the way of Easter. And then we're going to have the state handicap APH eliminations in May. Okay. So we have three events this year. Awesome. And then we might do a few other events. Uh, there's a chance we might do something in memory of one of our lost bowlers in the in the fall. Okay. Um, and while you're here, I do want to also say, uh, everybody here with a heavy heart today, we bowl with a heavy heart uh, for Charlie Milan. Uh, just one of the giants in the small ball game. Yeah. Okay. Maine for Maine. Absolutely. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, uh, 23 or 25 time state champion. Yep. Uh, one of the original founders of the world's tournament with Kansas Snow from Canada. Just, uh, just a giant in our game and a tremendous resource that we're going to be missing now. So we want to uh, take a moment and remember Charlie Milan. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Great Paul, job. appreciate success. you coming up Thanks here. Thanks a lot. You know, it's good to see you. It's good to have this. Yeah, glad to be here. And good to have that right, that guy Thanks. right there inspired by what you're doing. Thank Who you. knows? It might be on Vincent TV uh, as he, well soon. He can commentate if you want sometime, too. You know, he might. <laughs> Paul, thanks All for right. doing this. Bro. So this has been the nine-pin tournament from Parsons Field Maid in Keys of Falls. The JPS knows the owner. I'm Paul Grant saying so long for now. Thanks for watching this great game of Kenilpin Bowling. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you.